With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So in this question it is given two solid compounds A and C dissociate into gaseous product at temperature T as follows. So the product is we are getting B and D from dissociation of A solid. Okay. And the KP1 value is given as 25 atmosphere square and C solid dissociates at E gas plus D gas giving KP2 value as 975 atmosphere square. It is said that both solid are present in same container then calculate the total pressure of the solid mixture. So to begin with what we can do first write down the reaction involved in the both cases. The first reaction is A solid dissociates to give B gas plus D gas where the kp1 value is given as how much 25 atmosphere square at equilibrium it is clear that the pressure for this will be p1 assuming this is p1 so therefore this will be also p1 here we will have no pressure because this is a solid at equilibrium we are talking about now moving forward to the second equation which is given that the reaction is c lead is giving e gas plus d gas where the KP2 value is given as 975 ATM square. Now what will happen at equilibrium will not have any partial pressure for C solid because it is a solid E gas assuming we have P2 as the partial pressure and again D will have P2. If it is clearly visible that D is obtained in both the reactions and the reaction is doing we are doing the reaction in a closed container that is the same container therefore what will be the pressure the pressure partial pressure for d and this case and this case will become p2 plus p1 and here p1 plus p2 so now you can write the kp1 value as therefore from this kp1 value will be equal to how much partial pressure of b multiplied by partial pressure of d which is equal to how much 25 atm square it is given so pb is p1 and pd is how much it is p1 plus p2 Similarly, you can write down the KP2 value. So the KP2 value will be how much? KP2 is partial pressure of E multiplied by partial pressure of D, which is equal to 975 ATM square. PE is P2 multiplied by P2 plus P1. Multiply P1 with the bracket term. So you are going to get P1 square plus P1 P2. And here you are going to get how much? P2 square plus P2 P1. Now what we are going to do is we are going to add KP1 plus KP2. So KP1 plus KP2 is going to give me how much? This is going to be equal to 25 plus 975. This is how much? This is 975. Okay. 25 plus 975 will give you value as 100,000 ATM square. And this value that is the exact value of KP1 and KP2 is going to be how much? It is P1 square plus P1 P2. This is KP1 and KP2 is P2 square plus P2 P1. And this is equal to how much? 1000. Moving forward, if you can clearly see that this is of the form A plus B the whole square. That is, is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square, right? So this can be written as P1 square plus 2P1 P2 plus P2 square is equal to 1000. Therefore, P1 plus P2, the whole square is equal to 1000. Now, from this, you can easily write that P1 plus P2 value is equal to under root of 1000, which comes out to be 31.62 ATM. Okay. Now, you got the value for P1 plus P2. That is the partial pressure of D gas, right? Moving forward, the total pressure it is asked, total pressure in the system, it is going to be equal to PB plus PD plus PE. PB we have P1. PD we have P1 plus P2. And PE we have P2. So this is going to be equal to how much? This is 2 P1 plus P2. P1 plus P2 value we have as 31.62. So 2 into 31.62 will give you the value as 63.24 ATM. So this will be the answer for this question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.